It's been tough to see God move in 2020. Is that a safe assessment? I think between pandemic, between um, hurricanes, between this election, between murder hornets, is that still a thing? Because it's still in my nightmares. Um, it's been tough to watch. I feel like whenever someone invokes the numbers 2020, um, in a couple of years, I'm just gonna have this gag reflex. Maybe that's just me. But it's been a tough season to see God move, right? Can I tell you a quick story? So this story particularly is found in Joshua chapter 3, but let me set it up a little bit. Before Joshua chapter 3, we see the, uh, the Hebrews, God's people, wandering in the wilderness for, for 40 years, making poor decisions. Terrible things are happening to them. You could say it's a really tough season for 40 years. Um, and then after Joshua 3, um, God's moving his people into the promised land, which they then have to fight for. It's not just given to them. They have to fight for it, which is another troubling season. But right in the middle of this, we have Joshua 3. It's one of the coolest chapters, and let me tell you why. So they need to cross the Jordan River. And in this chapter, they're going to cross the Jordan River. God's talking to Joshua, and Joshua's going to tell the people how this is kind of going to go. And let me just sum it up. The priests are going first. Joshua sent the priests out first. They're going to be about um, 3,000 feet in front, just far enough so that as they carry the Ark of the Covenant, the people of God can watch it. They can see it as they're moving forward. And what happens is the priests are going to come to the Jordan River, and as soon as they step foot in that river, it goes dry. And they're going to stay in that dry riverbed until about three and a half million of God's people pass through that river, dry ground, onto the other side. Uh, this is amazing for a couple reasons. One, we know that as soon as their feet touched the ground, the river went dry. The Bible tells us that with certain markers that it was about 15 miles upriver, that God stopped this water. So that at the exact moment the priests put their feet in that water, it would be dry. 15 miles up, and those same priests stood there, trusting God that that river was going to stay dry and it wouldn't come and just sweep them away. Now, I want to pull two really important things out of this particular passage. One, God is so far ahead of us. It may be tough to see how things are working, but in 2020, God is so far ahead of us. He's moving. In this story, it's 15 miles ahead. But we know that God has everything planned. He's working even when it doesn't look like it. Maybe we're not looking for the ways that he's working, but he's working. And the second thing is, and I think this one's really important, it was the priests that went first. What we would say is it's the pastors that are going first. Can I ask you something? Can we together, as a people, pray encourage, uplift our pastors because it's them that are going first. It's them that God's calling to go first so that they can set up ground, so that they can stand the ground in the midst of this dry river, making sure that all of us as God's people get to make it across before any calamity happens. Can we lift up our leaders? Can we pray for them? Because it's their decisions that are guiding the spirituality of the church right now. They have to make the decisions that a lot of us have opinions about, but we don't have to make the decisions. Can we encourage them? Can we love them? And can we ultimately just come to the conclusion that God's got this in his hands? God is so far ahead of us.